Hi, I'm Vera Hallam with the Red and Black. I'm here today at the UGA practice fields to talk to Greg McGarity, UGA Athletic Director, about the new indoor practice facility being built in January of 2016. What about the current practice facility are you hoping to improve with this one? Well, as you can uh, see outside the window, we have a phenomenal complex as it is right now, but uh, when bad weather hits, we really have nowhere to go. So one of the uh, most important things it will allow us to do is have un uninterrupted practice. Uh, we all know how it gets during two days here with the storms and things, the, the lightning of that, and also it gets pretty pretty cold when we're doing off-season conditioning work, but not only will it help football, but it'll certainly help all of our sports and their conditioning, preseason training. Uh, so it'll be a phenomenal facility that will allow all of our student athletes to benefit from it. Besides football, what other sports will this new facility directly benefit? Well, there's going to be a, a 65 meter track straightaway, which will allow our track team to practice. And you know, they're a year-round sport where they have a big indoor season. And as we know, with an indoor season being in, in January and February, you never know when snow hits, things of that nature. But we'll also be able to do some field events in that facility. Uh, for our baseball program, we'll be able to have some netting in place to where we can have some batting tunnels, pinchy tunnels. But probably the biggest thing, it'll allow for all our teams to work out early in the morning. Uh, I'm an early wo morning workout guy, so I see our student athletes right now using the bottom field, turf fields, turn on the lights early at 6 or 6.30. But it'll allow them to utilize the building at all different times. And uh, when it's too cold to be outside, we can certainly come inside. How do you think this facility will compare to others around the nation, let's say the University of Oregon or Texas? Well, we've been able to really learn from others. Uh, our staff and the architects have done a good job of uh, learning from others, learning the mistakes that other, others have made, or if there's a do-over, if they could do it again, what would they do differently? So we feel like this building is going to be able to, to profit from all of the experiences that other schools have. It's going to have a nice safety zone from the side of the field to the walls, so to speak, the padded walls. It's going to be seven yards. and. That's a healthy distance to make sure that uh, young people don't get hurt. Uh, it's going to, the exterior is going to be dynamic and fit in with this quadrant of our athletic facility. So it's going to look fantastic. It's going to really be a fully functional building. And uh, how it functions to our student athletes that are in this building, being able to transfer from one area to the other is going to be exceptional. What does it mean to have the support of athletes like Fran Tarkenton, who pledged their support to the UGA Excellence Campaign who contributed so much to the Georgia football legacy in this time here. Well, it's great to see uh, uh, these individuals giving back. Uh, I think in Fran's situation is kind of where his career got started. He's a, a native of Athens, went to Athens High School and became a, one of the greatest quarterbacks ever at the University of Georgia in the NFL Hall of Famer and he wanted to give back and I think you're, you're starting to see that now in college athletics. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, wealthy former student athletes that are in play that want to give back. So I think it's the start of a, uh, of a journey here to where uh, there'll be several more former Bulldogs uh, lined up to help us, whether it be in football or basketball, tennis, golf. Uh, we've had uh, good support from our former student athletes and we're looking to maybe take that to another level. So we've had great support from the former student athletes. How do you think this new facility will help pave the way for future Bulldogs and recruits? Well, you never know. I think uh, we are the last uh, conference school to add an indoor facility to our facility. So we've got a little catching up to be, but uh, maybe the last end is the best. So for the last end that maybe we've, uh, like we said earlier, learned from others. And so we feel like we've, we will have uh, a lot of things in place that other, other schools don't really have uh, as far as space, storage, height, width, uh, aesthetics in the building, uh, a nice scoreboard in the building, uh, portable goal post. I mean, we're trying to take safety in place uh, really well, but I think as young men and women come on this campus to see that this is where I'll be able to train, much like the, the uh, uh, East Campus living environment, to be able to see this is where I'm going to be staying, this is where I'm going to be eating, this is where I'm going to be practicing. I think all those things uh, have come together in form of a really nice portfolio. Oh, I'm excited. I really am. It's going to be beautiful. Our indoor, our new indoor facility, 
We'll not take a back seat to anybody's facility in the country. It's going to be a showcase for us, and it's going to be also a uh, very uh, practical building for us to use for a lot of different reasons. Me, most people think you use it when it's lightning outside or raining outside, and that's it. But there's so many other functions for it that uh, we'll be able to use, and it's going to be right where it belongs, and it's going to be beautiful.